invest in you today. Invest in you on a daily basis. One of the ways of investing in you on a daily basis is do something that you are scared of. Calling a boss for a pay rise. Calling a partner for something that is not working out. Calling your school or to know about your grades if you are in school. Calling a school to know about how your daughter or son is doing because the last performance was not pleasing. Confronting your fears is one of the ways of investing and growing yourself today. Calling a family member that you had a disagreement for lunch so that you can be able to sort it out. We grow when we face those things that we fear most. Second way of growing yourself so that or investing yourself for growth is the power of saying no. You don't have to be nice to everybody and to agree to do everything for everyone. That drains your resources, time-wise, financially, and even mental capacities. You cannot be everything to everyone. Embrace the power of saying no. It is very liberating. I was listening to one of the international pastors. I think his name is Joel Austin, and he was talking about how they went house hunting with a wife, Victoria. And uh, this particular agent they found, they found a piece of property. The agent wanted to have their email addresses, their telephone numbers, to be able to contact them later. But since they were not really uh, happy about it, they were not interested in it. But being a pastor and he did not want to let the man down, he struggled a lot. But finally he said, no, I will not give you my email, I will not give you my number, because surely I do not want to have 101 emails and you know calls coming through for people who want to make something out of me. So the power of saying no, no is very liberating. The third way to invest in yourself today is to solve problems, big problems. If you have no problems coming your way, you cannot be able to invest in yourself. T.D. Jakes says that CEOs and uh, your MD, you are the big, the big shots in organizations. They are paid huge salaries and packs because of solving huge problems. So when problems stop coming to you, remember you are not investing in yourself. So look out for mega problems, address them, handle them. Another way of investing yourself is stop imitating people. Be original. Look at what everybody else is doing and do the opposite. Don't go with the hard instinct. Don't go with the flow of the majority. The majority, most of the time, there is no innovation that happens in majority. Innovation, creativity happens with the minority, the minority view. So embrace uh, and avoid, avoid imitation. Be original. Look out for new volunteers. Another tip on how to invest in yourself is do not look for fame. Don't look to become famous. Be careful on reputation. Don't be interested on fame. Be careful on your reputation. A bonus point, a tip, work on your mind. Everything starts from the mind. Recreate your mind. Recreate your focus. The mind is a very powerful tool. It's a very powerful organ. Work on your mindset and your mind will grow you new opportunities. Last bonus point, embrace failure. From failure, we grow.